Hello, very beautiful and wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today is a happy day. If you're happy and you know, jump on the floor, pa, pa. I'm happy. I'm gonna dance. I want la 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 la. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to carry my love away to the place it was. I want to carry my love away to the way it was. I want to carry my love away to the way it was. try me just who can I find my let's dance together I will I will I will I will, I will, I will dance just let me say <laughs> well done well done well done ah <sighs> today hmm? we want to do something different I'm not just going to tell you invest in land in house do this do that today we're going to invest in ourselves Take time out to take care of ourselves now. Let's take care of ourselves now. Hmm? The year is going to an end. Sometimes people decide to take stock towards the end of the year. So what stock are you taking? Let's take stock of our blessings. Hmm? Let's count our blessings. Uh, sometimes uh, when people see that their friends bought a new car, their friends got a new land, uh, a new house. They feel, oh, why am I lagging behind? Why am I not being blessed? But they don't remember their friends that lost a wife, a husband, a son, a daughter, a job, a, an accommodation, you know, or a fiancé. They wouldn't remember such. Or the, the friend that lost a limb, or if, uh, any part of the body, you don't remember those words, and their own body parts are complete. You know, some friends are in the hospital for years, some are even on life support machines. You don't remember such people that this is part of their blessing, they are agile, they are active. Yeah? So, count your blessings now, just count 10 reasons to be grateful to God for this year 2022 and write it down. And you will see, you will be amazed. And we can now go forward from there. It's true some people have some disappointments this year. Maybe that was your lot. Maybe some of the things you anticipated to happen in your life in this year did not come to pass till this time. The year is still running by me. Still running. So they now feel, maybe not taken care of the few, maybe God is not here, their are prayers. Or maybe you yourself now, as you are watching me now, you're still feeling that way. From this moment, I want you to change that mindset. Just look at me as a case study. Hmm? What back then in school, I was feeling that the sky is the beginning of my race, not even my limit. It's just the beginning. Because in the class I was always excelling for second third. In fact, if I come third, I will not give back hope. I don't want to go, go, go home, I will hang on the streets because I'm ashamed of my body. <laughs> so do you know what? Those people that I was training, I was coaching in class, they all entered high institution before me. They got well ahead of me. In fact, in one particular exam, I, in one particular exam, I passed well ahead of somebody. That person was saying, well, admission is yours. And I got admission. But I could go to the school. Yeah. I don't want to go into those details now. So this that is life. But today I went to school. Today on my life I'm well. Today I've, uh, I've if those my friends come out today, I'll also come out. Sometimes they, they watch my video, they sit back in their houses and watch my video and they'll be like, Olivia, wow. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. 
that is you that I know. He is, you know, but at some point they were like carrying shoulders, feeling that Olivia has been forgotten. That is life. The only permanent thing in life is change. But me, I never gave up on myself. When circumstances began to go the downward hill, I didn't give up on myself. I always believed in myself that with God, that anything is possible for me in life. I always carried my God along with my expectations. And that is why you are watching me right now. At some point in my life, I can hardly stand seeing somebody that I know, let alone appearing on your screen. That is it. So you too, just be positive minded. Push off all those negativities. I am always optimistic. And it works. It helps. Push away those negative thoughts about yourself and move forward. And you will see that you easily achieve your goals more than you ever thought. That is just it. Okay? So whatever disappointment you had in 2022, look forward to 2023 that is going to get better. And it can only get better when you're positive about it. Because it's when you're positive about something that you start dreaming about that thing. And when you dream, that is when the actualization comes. You don't just see yourself in a place you do not dream of. You might dream and say, ah, that is dream. That is never going to be my love. Who? Me. Who? Some people are where they are today. Some are overseas. Dream well. Some are, some are left village life to town. Some have left one room apartment to a, 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 a duplex. Some have left trekking on the streets. And now they were turning the stairs and they were touching one or two buttons and the motor is moving. Some are flying. You know. Why? Because the only constant thing in life is change. And because they were positive. They didn't give up on themselves. They didn't castigate themselves and condemn themselves and say that God has forgotten them. And they didn't blame God for the situation they found themselves at the time that things were not moving or fine. So I want you to take that mindset from today, okay? I've talked to some of my friends and they're always grateful. I always have them call me and say, God will bless you for me. It is you that gave me the push that has made a whole lot of differences. But me, it's not me. It is the gift of God in me to, 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 to help people, you know, to give them hope. Because I've been there and I passed through all those times and now, I am here and I will stay here tomorrow to help you to move along. Okay? So, watch it. You're going to do better. If you want to marry, you're going to get a good wife. If you want to marry, you're going to get a good husband to marry. If you look for accommodation, you'll get it. Is it job? Get it. Just be focused. Don't think that somebody is against your progress. Don't ever think that somebody. Is working against you somewhere. Nobody. It's your mindset that is working against you. You focus. Just keep moving forward. All right, and you'll see. If it is uh, land that you have not invested in yet, don't think it's an impossible thing. I talk to some people. They tell me, "Hmm, <laughs> only rich shows. That is for rich people. It's not for me." I say, "Don't you ever say so." If you are alive, anything can happen in your life. Anything good can happen if you are alive and well. Just ask God to give you life, give you good health, and you will see the changes. Hmm? So, let's move ahead. Let's be positive, let's be hopeful, let's be prayerful, and above all, let's please live clean lives. Let's draw closer to God. God says when we draw closer to Him, He will draw closer to us. When we pray, He will hear, He will listen. He does not delight in his creation suffering. It's not in him. It's his enemy that does that. So don't ever think that it's God that has doomed you. Uh, situation that you are into now. No, no, no. It's not God. Hmm? So I want us to dance together by next year. I wanna call him my love away to the way she likes. Oh yo yo, oh yo yo, oh yo yo. I wanna carry you away. I wanna, I want you to carry me away to the new house. To the new land, to the new life. Oh, 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 oh. See?